Good morning, adventurers good morning. from England. We are here. You can tell because it's really gray and we're wearing pants and jackets, so it's cold. But we know, <laughs> contrary to popular belief, it is not always gray. No, we are destined, it's not. if we stay here long enough, we know we're going to have a sunny day or two. Actually, yesterday it got pretty sunny yeah. for a second. We decided not to film our travels over here just because we kind of needed a break. It's actually really hard to film our travel days because we have all of our gear and then I'm trying to get shots while we're dealing with all the bull crap at the airport. Yeah, but it turns out we probably should have because yeah. it was one of the worst travel days maybe that we've had. Yeah, it was pretty bad. We had a lot of issues with Ryanair. We're, <laughs> they're just so damn cheap, but man, we, we'll never learn our lesson. We just gotta no. stop flying I mean, them. We, we saved about 200 USD flying with them. Yeah, but, but is it that worth means it? I don't know. Literally hours of me standing in customer service lines and ticket lines and on chat with them. And then yeah, and the our website messing up every two seconds. Yeah, was our flight just bad. was delayed a couple hours and then we got on the plane and they told us we were gonna sit there for two hours and then it turned out to be a joke and they let us go like five minutes later, but it was it was an emotional day. Yeah, but we're here. We're happy to be back in England. We're going to be exploring England for the next month or so. Yeah. Or actually, the UK in general. I think we're going to get up to Scotland, which we're so excited. We haven't been to Scotland in forever, it yes. feels like. Our current route, which it may change because we haven't really solidified things, is to go from here in Bristol to the Cotswolds yeah. and then over to Snowdonia and then up into Scotland to hopefully see a Highland game which we are so excited about. I think it's been a dream of ours for like years yeah. now. We went to one in Texas. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was quite the same as what we're gonna see here though. But we are in Bristol. We're gonna be exploring the city today. We're gonna eat some delicious food. We are going to see what this city has to offer, see the sights. Yeah. It's gonna be cool. And hopefully it doesn't rain on us. These are the Christmas Steps, which are apparently famous. I didn't really know about them until Allison told me we were walking <laughs> down them. But they were built in 1669, I think it said. And uh, it's just like this iconic um, little corridor that connects that area up there down to this area down there. And I think there's actually a bar here that's called yeah. the Christmas Steps that I think is pretty well known. But well, it says circa 1600, so I guess it's pretty old. Yeah, it's really cool though. If you stand up at the top, it's a very cool view. It'd be a really good photo if yeah. you came here. stumbled onto all kinds of really cool uh, street art and graffiti and stuff here in Bristol. Alley's like, this are pretty easy to come by. You just kind of like stroll around in the old center of town. And you find all sorts of cool stuff. Some of it's graffiti, some of it's more actually really cool street art, but it's all pretty cool to just walk around and discover it. We actually read that Banksy is believed to be from Bristol, which is a pretty interesting fact. And I guess that's why they're kind of known for their street art. But we haven't seen any Banksy pieces yet. We, we should probably look it up and see if we can find any yeah, near us. Yeah, I did see online that some people put up like free walking tours where you can go and check out some of his old works and newer works, but we'll definitely try to find some for you guys. out into the city we needed coffee you guys know us mm -hmm. but we also desperately needed some Wi-Fi uh, we tried to upload the vlog last night yeah, the Wi-Fi at our Airbnb is just not good it not got good. all for like eight hours it got 30 percent so yeah yep so, so quick stop yep. upload the video get some coffee energy and then lunch Coffee, excellent. Wi-Fi, not so good. This is not gonna work. <laughs> At least we got coffee though. We got coffee, but I guess we'll just have to go get more coffee. This is St. Nicholas Market. They have all kinds of delicious looking and smelling Good. food vendors. Yeah, and then they have a bunch of like uh, flower vendors, rugs, and all kinds of other stuff as well. Yeah. Some of the most beautiful pastries we've ever seen I mean, in our lives. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. Yeah. There's the indoor market, and then we've just been kind of going around the outside, but inside you can buy all sorts of trinkets. I think like artwork, antiques, 
paintings, I don't know, all sorts of goodies in there. But I read that they've been trading here since the 1700s, so it's a really old market. But we are hungry, so the first order of business is to get some food, although I don't know how we're gonna choose. It all looks so amazing. Before we grab lunch, we found a little juice place. We are going to try a couple shots. They have a deal where you can get three juice shots for two pound 50. So we have a kale shot, beetroot shot, and a chili and lime shot. This was my choice because that sounded so interesting. Yeah, and the other ones are just healthy, but this is the kind of shooting you do when it's not Friday yet. Save this one for last, so okay. go with the kale. Show me what that's right. about and then I'll do the beet. I'm just gonna do half of it. You gotta do half of no it No way. Too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. oh God! Oh. That face that she made. Oh man, this doesn't look good. Oh my God! Tastes like yay hell. Go, oh, that was horrible. Grass and cardboard. That was legit horrible. All right, I'm feeling like the beet juice is gonna be better than that. That tasted like dirt and some poo. Oh, <laughs> for sure. It was like grass dirt and like, okay just let's ground drink okay. this so i can get this taste out of my mouth Ooh, that's pleasant oh very beady hmm. that's real tasty that was actually bomb yeah it was kind of sweet it'd be better if they were cold but they're all like room temperature oh, yeah. your teeth are all red <laughs> <laughs> all right last up we got chili and lime i'm going first yeah Ooh, smells pretty good. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. Ugh. That is the most tart thing I've ever tasted. Oh my god. It's not that bad, but man, it's so salty and tart. It makes your whole mouth just water up. Wow, that's weird. I don't think you're gonna. Oh man, it's so tangy. Oh, it burns! <laughs> oh my gosh, did you guys ever eat, were they warheads? Yeah. Is that what they were? These little oh, sour yeah. candies? Yeah, it's about as sour as warhead. Oh I gotta finish it up though, God. can't waste it. We paid a whole two pound fifty for these. Ah! Oh, it hurts to drink. But I feel healthy, I feel energized. Now let's go eat some food. We found this pie shop right behind me called Pie Minister. I think, is that what it's called? Yeah, Pie Minister. I got a, uh, it was called the Mexicow. So I think it's British beef, some uh, chili in there, some cheese. Uh, that's all I could remember. So it's gonna be a bit of a surprise. And I got it with uh, uh, creamy mashed potatoes on the bottom, some gravy, and some uh, mushy peas, of course. Let's see what we got in here. Oh yeah. Oh, it's still really hot. We've actually been sitting here for a while and I thought it would have cooled down, but kind of a big bite. <laughs> I think I got a little bit of everything in this bite. <laughs> it's pretty good. The crust is nice and flaky and it's like just a delicious pot of chili, basically. I was wondering if the peas would go very well with it, but it tastes pretty good to me. And this was only like, um, what was it, six pounds, seven pounds? Yeah, seven pound 50. That was with everything, with the size and everything, right? Yeah, so not a bad deal. I, on the other hand, I wanted to be healthy, but I also wanted to be bad. So I got a big box of salads. You could get four for five pounds. You pick them and then you put a dressing on there and some hummus. And then I got sausages. <laughs> I think you're supposed to either get them on a sandwich or they come with potatoes, but we just said, can, we, can I just get two sausages? Because we already sure. had a lot of stuff, so yeah. I figured it out. So I think it was, what was it, two pounds yeah. of these? Um, or two fifty something like that. But I mean, this is my jam for lunch: a salad and then a big hunk of meat. I love it. He gave them to us in this little bag, so I don't really have a plate, but that's okay. We'll make do. And these are supposed to be what with cheese in there? I think? Yeah, that's what it said. Oh, man, 
It's really good. I noticed sausages here in the UK, though like the kind that you get with a full English breakfast, they're really creamy in texture and yeah. they don't really pop so much. It's almost like um a creamy like uh, pate feel on the inside instead of like mm -hmm. really being like chewy and poppy like normal. Yeah, it's like really sausages. finely minced up, I yeah. think. Yeah, <laughs> but it's really good. I don't know that I would have known that there was cheese in there, but it's got a lot of seasoning and it's nice and salty. And I'm gonna steal some of Eric's uh, potatoes and gravy. I think I'll allow it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it took a second to hit me, but the chili has a nice spiciness and a nice burn to it, Ooh, which is real really? good. I'll yeah, it's not bad it at all. Try. How's the salad? Any good? It's good, but I got the, um, I never know if you pronounce it, harissa? Harissa dressing, I believe. Woo! It's got a good little kick to it. But, I got all my veggies in there. We're on the inside now, and it is pretty cool. They've got a lot of really cool items. Lots of the smell of incense and uh, fancy soaps and stuff is hitting me. But they have a bunch of really cool, rustic looking backpacks. I'm in the market for a new backpack, but I haven't seen anything that's really speaking to me quite yet. But, but we'll keep looking. Yeah, pretty cool. found a cider bar called the Apple, the Apple Boat, I think. It's just a boat yeah. on the river, but they have a bunch of ciders uh, on tap, um, and the inside is very, very uh, classy, the bar area, but they also have kind of an outside seating area. It's a pretty nice day, so I think we're going to sit out here and enjoy our cider. We've already tasted it. It's definitely the most legit cider we've ever had. We've, I don't know that we've ever been to like a proper cider bar, but it's really good. So we don't know much about cider at all, so we were just talking to the bartender down there, and she was telling us about a word they used to describe cider. What was it? Scrum scrumpy. Scrumpy, which we'd never heard that word before. We love it. It's a great word to say. Scrumpy cider. But yeah. according to Wikipedia, it's used to, nowadays, I think, just describe the cider that's made in like smaller batches. Yeah, I or think, like from... rougher apples or something like yeah. that. We, we couldn't did... really understand it, but. <laughs> she even tried to explain <laughs> it to us, but I believe we got some scrumpy ciders. They taste unlike any cider, almost yeah unpleasant yeah they taste like a barn like <laughs> the inside like of a barn of and a some barnyard. apples yeah it's so but i'm sure that means it's like legit right mm -hmm. well the internet sucks here too you guys we've been sitting here for like 30 minutes and we went from 47 to 49 percent i think maybe this vlog isn't getting uploaded today maybe by next week we'll have a new video for you guys we are having no luck with the wi-fi here in bristol we went to another coffee shop and it was the same slow upload speed. So I, t I was just venting on Twitter about how we couldn't find good internet here in Bristol. And the YHA, which is a youth hostel here in Bristol, replied and said, come and use our Wi-Fi. it's very fast. So it's a nine minute walk down there. Hopefully it's fast enough to get the video uploaded and out today, because that would be good. We decided not to walk to the YHA too far and I'm ready to sit and have a drink. Yeah, plus he's had his eye on this board game bar behind us. We came here last night yeah. and almost stayed, but then I don't know, it was late and we decided to save money. But tonight, we're gonna go for it. So I think we're gonna head in there and chill for the rest of the night. Yeah. They have internet. Uh, I'm gonna make one last attempt to get the vlog uploaded. Um, probably not gonna work. I don't have my hopes up, but I'm gonna drown my sorrows in a pint and play some board games. And then Sounds we're gonna great. show you more of Bristol tomorrow before we head out to the Cotswolds for our yes. little road trip. It's gonna be awesome, can't wait. Oh, I can't either. All right, good night adventures. We'll see you on the road. Scratch that. <laughs> Apparently I have to make a reservation. They're fully booked oh, for tonight. So we night, won't it. be going there tonight, but we have a plan B. There is a, another board game store that actually closes in like five minutes. So we're rushing <laughs> over there. We're gonna buy, we, we wanna buy Flux, which is our favorite card game, but we left it at her parents' house and haven't been traveling with it. Yeah. But if they're still open, we're gonna get that. Go to a bar, make it our own board game bar, dang it. All right, so, for real, <laughs> good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road. And they were closed. So we're going to go home and just get some beer and drown our sorrows. Just kidding, they were open oh, and we got it. Oh, we got, got the zombie flux this yeah. time. By the way, if you've never played flux, 
Order it right now and play it because it is our favorite card game. It's so fun. We love that you can play it with two people or a whole group. But anyways, this day is over. We're just going to chill <laughs> for the rest of the day. <laughs> We're done, done. I promise, probably. Good night, adventures. I'll see you on the road. Just kidding. No, just kidding about that.